constantly being up against preconceived perceptions of me, whether it was when I was a model, when I was a beauty queen, um, constantly people telling me, that you're just a model, you're just a pretty face, you're just a beauty queen, what else can you possibly offer? There will always be people telling you that you are not enough or you are too much. How does one prepare to carry and raise their country's flag on the international stage? How does one prepare to carry a nation's name across their heart? The pageantry was more of the role that I was able to fill once I started in pageantry because before that, I was just a model but I was a very creative person. I had a lot of different things that I really loved doing, like music. And I also had something to say. And so when I started pageantry and I was given the opportunity to really speak and to have my opinions heard and my thoughts heard, that was very liberating for me. And whenever I am given the opportunity to take up space in a certain arena, whether that be in hosting, whether that be in music, I feel all the more pressure to prove myself because I don't want to be there as in this universe because I see pageantry as something that I've already fulfilled and I hope that I would justify my being there whether it be in the world of acting whether it be in the world of posting or music based on what I can offer um, not just being in this universe. HIV isn't choosy. You don't want to have your life cut short by something that could have been avoided by it would definitely be uh, inequality in the terms of not having access to the same tools, the same opportunities. Um, one of them being education, the other being um, equal footing when it comes to career opportunities. I hope that um, gender wouldn't be something that would be held against a woman and seeing that, oh, she's not as capable of both because she's a woman or she's not able to give 100% or she's not well equipped enough because she's a woman. Um, those labels or those boundaries that are placed on women, such as like, you know, timelines, um, their roles that they're able to take up in life. Um, those are definitely limitations that sometimes us women aren't even uh, aware of because we think it's just how it is. I've always tried to show who I am, stripped of the title, stripped of all of these fluffy things. <laughs> It's really just in sharing my passions. I mean, all I hope to do is to inspire other people that they themselves can make a change. Because whenever I've traveled across the world and I've talked to different age groups from kids up into adults, um, they all have the, the, the feeling that I wish I could help. I wish I could do something. Um, but there's always that hesitation where they don't know how. So through my platforms, I just constantly try and show people this is perhaps an avenue that you could follow, whether it be volunteerism or lending your efforts and skills to a certain cause or just putting out your opinion of, on, on the topic. Um, that is how we can contribute to the community in whatever small way may be achievable for us. And that's all I hope to encourage on my platforms. The goal is not to have women in front of everyone else, it's really just to have everyone and that's across all genders. That's not only women against men. We're not trying to fight 
men and fight masculinity. Um, it's more of just having equal respect, equal opportunities, equal um, opportunities to really make a life for yourself that you want and not having your life and your opportunities dictated by another person, another body, another um, societal um, stereotype or whatever it may be. Um, that's the future that I hope to, to achieve as women.